This video is how to graph a quadratic equation using Microsoft Excel. So the quadratic equation I'm going to graph is y equals x squared. <clears throat> so first I'm going to create a t-table or a t-chart. I have an x a column and a Y column. This X and a Y that I typed in here is just for show, showing you my X part and my Y part. Um, I've inserted all my coordinates already. So once you have all your coordinates inserted, what you need to do is go to the upper left part of your coordinate, the first coordinate you've typed in. Make sure you do a left mouse click and then drag and drop as you're holding the left mouse click in, you've got to make sure it's kept in, you drag and drop down to the bottom. If you let go of your left mouse click button now, you should have everything highlighted. Let me show you again. Upper left hand corner, left mouse click, drag and drop, keep it clicked in. Once you highlight everything, just let go and you have everything highlighted. To get to the actual graph, you go to insert. We're going to use these points. We're going to insert make sure everything's still highlighted down here in your box scatter insert scatter and then I know a y equals x squared is a u-shaped graph so it's not a straight line so I want to scatter uh, smooth lines uh, without markers here you can have the smooth lines with markers a marker for every dot your coordinate uh, I don't want the coordinates labeled so I just want to click on that and there's my graph okay so there's my graph y equals x squared if I want to make this a little bit prettier I can go up to the top where it says layout we're at design right now where it says layout go to layout and then chart title and I'm gonna make a title right now it says none I'm gonna put a center overlay title and a title pops up on my graph so just so I know what this chart is, I'm going to write the equation down. It says y equals x squared. And you could hit y equals x raised to the second power. Or you could insert a symbol, x squared symbol. And there we go. I've inserted the y equals x squared symbol. Uh, if I want to label my x and my y axis, I can do that also. We're still on layout. We, we did chart title. Right next to chart title is axis titles. You can label your x and your y axis. The horizontal is your x axis. Right now there's none, so I'm going to go to title below axis. And whatever your title is labeled, uh, your x axis is labeled, I'm just going to label it x axis right now. I mean, it could mean different things for your graph. Uh, I also want to label my y-axis. The y-axis is the vertical axis. So go back up to axis title and do my vertical. Uh, and I'm going to do rotated title. And you can try the different ones and see which ones you like. And this is my y-axis. So I'm going to label it y-axis. And there's my graph. I know what it is now. Uh, if you want to get rid of this series one, you can click on it and hit delete if you want. There you have your graph. Uh, y equals x squared is your graph right here. So I have two more graphs to do. Uh, y equals x squared. Do you see how the vertex is right at the center, 0, 0? Here's the next graph. Y equals x squared plus 5. I'd like to see the difference between this and the previous graph. The previous graph was just y equals x squared. y equals x squared plus 5. Let's see how that looks. In order to graph this, I have everything on my T table. I just highlight all the points that I already have typed in. Go up to, remember, you have to left click your mouse, drag and drop to the bottom, keep it highlighted, let go of the left click mouse, and now you have everything highlighted. Go up to insert, scatter, and then you can have a smooth line. And this time I'm going to do one with the, the scatter with smooth lines and markers. And you'll see it has a marker everywhere the coordinates are. Negative 3, 14 has a coordinate. Negative 2, 9 has a coordinate. Uh, 0, 5 has a coordinate. So you can see this graph. 
is is here if I want to label it once again I go next to design it says layout click on layout chart title center overlay title and I'm just gonna label my graph this is y equals x square going to a symbol and hitting my square y equals x square plus five so that's what this graph is and you can label your x and y axis if you want I'm not going to this time click on this series and get that rid of and if you look at this graph let me just make it a little bit smaller it's kind of important to see the difference between this graph and this one let me put it side by side and show you what they are side by side uh, this is y equals x squared plus 5 this is y equals x squared do you see y equals x squared has the vertex at 0 plus 5 all it does is raise the entire graph five spots up from zero. The plus five on the outside of this x square plus five, it just raises your graph five spots up. Okay, so I have one more graph, and this is y equals x plus five squared, where the plus five is on the inside. You see this, this last one we did, the plus five was on the outside of the x square. This plus five is on the inside of the square. So in order to do this, I'm going to highlight my points, left click, drag and drop, insert, scatter, and graph. And there's my graph. I did one with smooth lines this time. I made it a little smaller. I'm getting rid of the series. I'm going to put a title in there. Go to layout chart title center overlay and this is y equals x plus 5 raised to the second power and here's my graph do you see the difference between this graph and our first one a plus 5 on the inside, what it did is, here's my y-axis, here's 0. A plus 5 on the inside moves my graph 5 spots over to the left. The original was at 0. A plus 5 on the inside will move the entire graph 5 spots to the left. A plus 5 on the outside, do you see what happens? It moved the graph up. A negative would move it down. A plus 5 on the inside moves it to the left. A minus 5 on the inside would have moved this graph 5 spots to the right. If I need to take these graphs to a Microsoft Word document, what you do is you click on your graph. You click on your graph. And in the blue area, blue highlighted area, right click and you'll say, right click and it'll say copy. Take it over, now I copied this graph, take it over to your Word document, right click again and hit paste and you'll have a copy of your graph. So any graph that you have, click on it, it'll have a blue highlighted box around it right click on the blue highlighted box hit copy and then you can minimize and go to your Microsoft Word document go to a Word document click on that Word document right click it again right click and hit paste we already copied it hit paste and it'll create your graph on your Word document this is how you graph a quadratic equation using Microsoft Excel thank you for watching